Hi, I'm Bry Cox with BryCoxWorkshops.com, and for today's Q&A, I got a message from a photographer, and he asks, hey, I saw your questions for Q&A videos, and I know there's a simple answer to this question, and it is probably shoot it correctly the first time, but sometimes I might get a little overexposed with my flash, and it causes skin tones to be blown out. Uh, you know that look where someone used a flash and it's not appealing. How, or do you have a way to adjust it in post to get a more sellable image? And, or is the answer just to expose it correctly and meet her the next time? So, <laughs> yeah, you kind of know what I'm gonna say, yeah. Obviously, my general rule of thumb is, if I have to spend time fixing it, I'm not even gonna worry about it, I'm gonna move on to the next image and I'm only gonna show my clients the best of the best, stuff that I don't have to retouch which means I make a mental note and I go, okay, if I screwed up, a little overexposure, made something wrong, I make a mental note, I have to do better next time of always metering, always taking checks, always uh, doing my routine. I talk about my three steps to a perfect exposure. Now sometimes, your, your, your question is, you know, but is there a way to fix it? Yeah, there's always a way to fix it. Uh, of course, it always looks the best if you just shoot it right. Uh, but there's one way. One way is ho hopefully you shot it in raw and you can go into Lightroom and maybe make two versions, right? Because if you start to darken that image to bring back uh, maybe more natural skin color and look, you can also darken the background. So maybe make one version for a good background, one version for maybe a good faces, and you go in and mask them in Photoshop and try to sandwich the two together. It's going to take a little time. The one problem is too is the m if you overexpose the skin and you start bringing it down, it's going to start looking like salmon's color skin. It's not going to be a nice yummy skin tone. It's going to look a little silvery, and I just call it salmon skin. Right? It's never going to quite be right. So sometimes making it black and white, you know, if that's uh, sellable. Like some, maybe someone just passed away, right? And this is the only shot you've got, and you have to make it work. Black and white could possibly work. Sometimes, though, I will purposely overexpose a shot for a particular look. Like this high school senior portrait right here, right? I wanted a blown out look, so I literally shot this overexposed. And if I flip through this book, I know there's a lot where I shot right on the money, but there's also, if I can find some, like, well, like this right here, I shot these overexposed on purpose. And so in that case, they're black and white. And let's see what I've got here. Right, in this case, they're in color. And so sometimes you can, uh, maybe just a little bit of slight retouching and maybe pumping the contrast a little bit, you can kind of get away with an overexposed look. Maybe you didn't do it on purpose, but you want it to look like you did it on purpose, you know, you could try that. But again, the rule of thumb is always going back to the beginning. Yes, you knew what I was gonna say. Shoot it right in the camera, meter, check, everything's manual, flash is manual, camera's manual. Right, everything is metered, checked, color balanced. And when you do it that way, then hopefully you don't have to do any retouching. A lot of my collages, a lot of my albums that I do, none of the images have any retouching. I simply pick my favorites, design up collages, and I sell them uh, completely unretouched. And that's how I deliver to the client. So there you go, there's my answer. If you have any questions for me, America, uh, post them below, send me a private message, and let's get that question answered for you. And a question for you is, what's your process for exposure? Do you like my three-step process that I have in some of my previous videos? Or do you have your own system for getting good exposure? All right, that's it for today. Again, brycoxworkshops.com. See you next time, America.